Hey friends, it's Tasha. I'm here today with a huge haul of all different kinds of things. Um, it's a collective haul of things that I've picked up from different places um, the last couple of days. It's going to be a lot easier for me to do just one video um, as a collective um, with, you know, whether it's Dollar Tree or 99 cent store. Um, so just a heads up, I'll probably be switching to doing like maybe one to two videos a week. <clears throat> for couponing, I'll keep doing it where um, I'll post same day so then that way there's enough time for everyone to take advantage of, of the same deals if they want to. Um, but today's video is um, a lot of different things. I've got collective Dollar Tree hauls from uh, three different stores. I have a 99 cent store haul. I also have some DIY projects that I'm doing with things that I've purchased from the dollar store and already put together. And I also stopped by two of my favorite thrift stores. Um, I like promoting thrift stores, especially nonprofit thrift stores like the Salvation Army and Savers. I live really close to two of those. So I stopped by today. They were having great sales, so some of the DIY projects that I have, I've already included those um, items, and then I have some other things that I want to show to kind of enlighten those of you who might not shop at thrift stores to give it a shot, because thrift stores are amazing. But I don't even know where to get started. I guess I'll start with Dollar Tree items, since I know most uh, people want to view Dollar Tree hauls, so I'll get started with that. Oh, oh boy. Okay, so first item I picked up, I believe it's the Dollar Trees brand, um, but it's the colander that has the handle. Um, I saw someone haul this and say that they were going to use it to rinse off their fruit and fruits and vegetables. So I thought that that was a really great idea because I usually hold it or I put it in a bowl and then let the, um, the fruit sit there. And then I kind of hold my hand to prevent the fruit from falling out as I drain it. Um... So I think that this will be a much easier and better way to rinse those products off. And for a dollar, it's not bad. Um, it is not dishwasher safe. Oh, hi, Emmy. So I would recommend always, if you are going to get this, it's got to be hand wash only. I also picked up a pill crusher. Um, it's already out of its container and washed. Um, so you essentially just screw this down until you crack your pill. show you so you can get an idea. So it kind of goes down to a point and then that goes on top of it as you're screwing it in. If my camera wants to focus, there you go. So I have that for myself if I ever need to take some kind of medicine that I cannot get in gummy form or in tiny tablet form. So I picked that up while I saw it. I also got for gift giving, and this one's a giant baby gift sock, no, sack, I'll call it a gift bag. Um, it's got really cute, let's see if you can see better, there you go, whales on there. So fit for boy or girl. And then while I saw these, I picked them up. This is a two pack of the uh, shrink wrap bags. I usually don't use a blow dryer. I just throw the basket in at the bottom and then stack things in around it. And then I tie it up. I picked this up because there's two in here versus the typical one. So um, I know I needed this for when I was putting gifts together for my mother. And unfortunately, I couldn't find it at the Dollar Tree, so I went to the 99 cent store, and you were paying a dollar for one. So two for a dollar is a much better value. I also picked up these cute little bows. There's nine in each bag. Um, they had these two colors. They also, I believe, had a yellow and a blue. Uh, I had to have these two. Pink, of course, my favorite color, and then white because it'll go with anything. Um, but I hadn't seen these at any of my other Dollar Trees, so this was a really good value to me. Uh, I usually wait until uh, the after Christmas clearance to pick up bows like this, but I never find these colors. It's always going to be your silver, gold, and Christmas colors. So this was a really great deal for me, and I was happy to find those. 
because I do like to give gifts a lot throughout the year. I also picked up the six count bag of the chicken flavored uh, top ramen. I do like to have these on hand for if one of us has a tummy ache or if I'm just in the mood to have one of these. I usually prefer shrimp, but I've never seen the shrimp six pack at the Dollar Tree. So I think a chicken will be just as good. I was also excited to find these. I haven't seen anyone haul these at all yet. Um, these are magnetic picture frames, four by six. They have them in this glitter gold and in the glitter silver. Um, I believe it's some kind of like sunflower on the sides, but they're really pretty. Um, I'm still waiting to be able to afford to get my wedding photos, the whole CD. Um, it's a lot of money, but the photographer is really good, so it's worth it. But once I get those, I do plan on sticking some of them in here and on the fridge. These were a great find, and I love glitter. You can't go wrong with glitter. I also found these in the makeup aisle. Um, obviously, they're left over from Halloween, but it is Fantasy Makers by Wet n Wild. This one's Pixie Princess very sparkly eyelashes it's got kind of a um, magenta looking lipstick I don't know if there's a name and it looks like it's just a number yeah and then it has this green and orange eyeshadow and then it looks kind of hot pink nail polish and you can see here that um, I'm assuming the lipstick's not gonna look like that but that eyeshadow perhaps and then I also picked up Vampirus. These were the only two varieties that they had there. Um, so you can see here that these are nice lashes as well. And they've got the red tinsel in the corners. This one's more of a deep red lipstick with sparkly blackish brown and red eyeshadow. And then a sparkly red um, nail polish. So for a dollar, this was really good because I know during Halloween season if you try to find makeup like this you're gonna be getting some really cheap stuff from the 99 cent store or the Dollar Tree um, and then if you want to get something like this from like Walmart or Target it's gonna cost you three dollars and up so a dollar for these four products I will take it um, one of the DIY projects that I did as soon as I got home the other day was I made this beautiful floral vase. I made two of them. They're both on my kitchen table right now. So essentially I bought this tall glass vase and then this candlestick holder and I hot glued them together. I had these leftover water, I guess water gems that I purchased from the Dollar Tree for my wedding for decor. Um, I have a bunch so I needed to figure out where I was going to use them. So these are left over but you can buy these from the Dollar Tree. And then I picked up these flowers. These ones are called dahlias. Uh, these ones came up lilac. And then um, these, I believe, were called blooming branches on the receipt. So I picked up two of these. And then there was enough uh, for me to split up to buy one stem of these and one stem of the blooming branches. So I really liked how those came out. I'm really satisfied with how the Dollar Tree is stepping up their game when it comes to the artificial flowers. Um, they've got the sparkly ones, they've got all different types, and it's not just flowers, even like those branches. They also have the little, um, pearl looking ones, so if you like having artificial flowers, or you're having a wedding coming up, or something you need to decorate with, the Dollar Tree is a great place to stop at first for those. Um, let's see, what else? I also picked up these electronic wipes um, for our TV and laptop, TVs and laptop, excuse me. Uh, this was a bonus pack of 25 versus 20. I've already used them already. Um, the smell is very faint, but it does clean very well. I noticed there were no fingerprints left over and it didn't leave any kind of um, water or not water, but cleaning solution left over like a wet wipe would. So I'm satisfied with it. 25 for a dollar is a good value. Um, I also picked up some more baby stuff. Well, not more like toddler stuff. This one 
I like this. This is cute. Baby on board. It's got the little suction cup there for the car. Never seen these at any of the Dollar Trees I've been to, so I grabbed it just in case when I go back they don't have it anymore. Um, I also picked up these cute little girl sippy cups. I've seen the owl ones and people hauling those, but I haven't seen anyone grab these. Or I haven't seen these at any other Dollar Tree. So I picked up two because pink and cats are my favorite. And of course the little girl is going to be a princess. And then I also had to pick up one for the boys. This one was um, safari animals in green. They also had blue and it was a pirate, I believe. Let's see what else from the Dollar Tree. I picked up this so fun, right? Ant bait killer or ant killer bait, <laughs> ant traps essentially. There's two in here for a dollar, really good value. Um, it's ant season and I'm finding, you know, a few here and there in the apartment. So I'd rather pay two for a dollar versus what I did last year, which was, I believe four for four dollars at Lowe's. Um, so this is definitely better at, you know, 50 cents a piece than a dollar a piece. Let's see. I also picked up a new toilet brush cleaner. Um, we got a wedding gift from Bed Bath & Beyond. It's a really tall, skinny, white porcelain cat that holds the, the scrub brush behind it. And this is the brush that actually came with that, um... So we just needed to replace it. And I was really happy to find that they had this style because I'd never seen that style before. And I got worried thinking I was going to have to call, you know, search high and low and spend a lot of money to replace that brush. But nope, the Dollar Tree saves the day. Uh, another fun product, fly traps. I'm just going to put these out on our um, patio to help prevent big nasty flies getting in again this summer. I finally found the animal pens that everyone's been hauling. was really disappointed that they did not have the cat in pink. So I believe it was orange or green, and I'm not big on orange, so I picked up green instead, which kind of works out anyways because our cat's name is Emerald. So, and then I had hauled these, I believe, in a previous video. Um, so I went back while they still had them available and I picked up five of these. These are great. If you haven't seen anyone review these yet, um, doesn't smell like lavender to me, but it doesn't matter. I throw it in my purse. I have it, you know, to wipe my hands and my hands feel so clean after I use them and my hands actually don't feel too dry. I don't feel like I need to throw lotion on like after I washed my hands or anything like that. They actually felt pretty moisturized afterwards. So um, me and my husband like these. Uh, so I, I picked up five. I might pick up more depending on how fast we go through those, but we'll see. I also found this little jar. Um, I'm thinking that I'll probably use it in the bathroom maybe. It looks like it might be tall enough for Q-tips. Um, right now we just have a plastic one that I picked up from Walmart a long time ago. Um, but I think glass is classier versus the plastic. So probably going to switch over to this for Q-tips if I can fit them in there. Um, here's a big bag of Dollar Tree stuff. I also found these in the craft section. Um, I finally found washi tape at this particular Dollar Tree, but it was only an Easter, and I've been searching high and low for the lace-looking one. Mm, maybe one day I'll find them if I'm meant to have them, but I picked up these two. These are uh, craft paper labels. Um, there's 30 in here, which is awesome, and this one's got 50. They're really pretty. This one's my favorite. It's like my mirror for my vanity, except it's pink, not black. Um, but yeah. This was a good deal to me. I also finally found 
finally found a lot of the pictures that everyone's been hauling. So I grabbed a lot because <laughs> I knew from searching my other Dollar Trees that I was not going to find these again if I didn't grab them while I saw them. So I, here's one of them. All my heart for all my life. I'll probably, oh, and there's little diamonds there too. Don't want to forget to mention that. This is probably going to go on our little wall collage of wedding photos. Um, I might put this one there with it too. This is just, they look kind of like a Japanese flower tree. And they've got the little gems on certain flowers. Super pretty. I picked up this one as well. I've got gems. Live, laugh, love. It was really hard for me not to purchase all of the ones that had gems on them because I just absolutely love the gems. I picked up this one to go next to my uh, makeup vanity in the bedroom. It's got some pretty crystals there on the flowers. I picked up this one for our wedding photo collage wall as well. It says love, two souls, one heart. I finally found the kitchen one that everyone's been hauling. It goes with the colors I already use and it's got that metallic look to the background so I'm super excited to have finally found this and then this is gonna go with the kitchen one if given enough coffee I could rule the world love my coffee so I had to have that and it looks like the last one I picked up was also for the kitchen this one is kitchen rules give thanks sit still eat your veggies blah 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 also kind of goes with the look and theme of our kitchen, so picked that up while I saw it. There was one of three, so I figured I better take it. Um, let's see what else. For beauty items, the only things from the Dollar Tree I got were these two. Uh, this one I hauled in a previous video, Just Kissed. I finally tried it and I love it. It smells really good and it lasts pretty long. It's a very faint sparkle, but over lipstick, uh, it looks great. And then I finally found the Liquid Eye Milani pencils. Aqua was the only color that they had. I picked up one. Now, I have not had a child yet, but this would be a great gift. It's a post-pregnancy weight loss DVDs. There's four in here. So if I find someone I want to give this as a gift to, a dollar for this, awesome. Or then I just hold on to it for myself if I don't know anyone else having a baby anytime soon. But I didn't want to pass it up because it was the only one there. I also picked up this basket. Um, I finally have a flower pot outside hanging from our balcony. And I picked up most of the stuff from the Dollar Tree, which I'll show you in just a second. But this basket was in the Easter section available in this color, pastel pink and blue. Um, it is going to hold my, um, my gardening tools, like my gloves and my shovels and all that stuff, which I picked up from the 99 cent store. So, um, I picked up this hanging set already. So this is, I have two of these. I already have one hanging outside, but it's got the hook to hang it. And then this is the coconut shell, I guess you call it, that you would put your flowers and soil in here. A really good deal for a dollar, because we were at Lowe's today too, and for that coconut shell, they wanted two bucks for theirs. Um, what was I going to show you? Oh yes, the big bag of soil that if you find, you should definitely grab. All this for a dollar. Eight quarts good deal. I also picked up two of those. My husband wanted this squeegee. He said he's going to use it on our windows. And oh yes. One last DIY thing I did with Dollar Tree flowers. This beautiful teapot I got from Savers thrift store. It's absolutely gorgeous. The sticker on it, I've already peeled it off, but it said that it was um, 
actual china. Now I got it because they didn't have the little, I guess, top that goes to it, but I didn't want it for that purpose anyways. I wanted it to use as decor and it was only $3. But I picked up more flowers to put inside the vase along with this sea moss, if you can see it. I think they call it Spanish moss. But I picked up a bag of that and then these purple roses these white flowers, pink flowers, and then I had the leftover branches from my previous project. So yeah, I'm gonna find a cute little spot to put that. And I believe that ends my Dollar Tree haul. Uh, you know what, I think I'm gonna stop it here because I'm already at 20 minutes and upload time takes forever. So if you're interested in seeing my 99 cent store haul and my thrift store hauls, go ahead and check out that video. I'm going to post it after this one. Uh, I do hope you guys check it out because it's great finds at these stores. And I hope it influences you to try out your local Savers or Salvation Army. But I will see you in the next video. Bye!